what I'm going to do is to create a combi box. To do this you need to go to view toolbars and forms. This will bring up this menu. Then you go to combo box and draw your combo box there. Let's close this. OK. Now what you need to do is to press the right hand mouse when you're on there. You'll see Format Control. Click on there. Let's bring this down so that you can see it. Now what you need to do is to look at the first input range that you're going for. If you click here and then, now I'm going to use a payroll, payroll here. So I'm going to click on to the names on the payroll. Having done that, I can click back to here. Now, the payroll names link with a particular cell. This cell is here. Next, I'll click onto there and I can OK that. Of course, nothing has happened until I click off and then click on to that. And of course, you can see the names. When I click onto the first one, up comes something in this box here. If I click onto there, to the second one, of course the second name comes up. Now you have to link this, the combi box, with this. And what this is, is something from, from the function menu. I've got to go to insert function, that's fx, and choose, if I go to all, here, down to i. If I press i once, I go down to if. If I press it twice, I get to index. OK, it comes up with this. Select arguments, look for an array or table. OK, that. Now, here's what I'm looking for. Can I put that to there? Yes, that'll do. For the moment, I'll put it to there. The array I'm looking for is again in payroll work. So I'll go to there, and I'm looking for that array there. Don't click on any more than it, just click on the whole thing. And I should make that absolute. So press F4. OK, next one, choose your row. And the row number is this one. This links to this, and this, this argument there, links to that as well. Now I'm looking for the hours worked. When I come down to here, I press 1. That was the first one in the column. If I OK that, it gives me 37. OK, let's do that once more. Here. I go up to FX. Most recently used was Index, and OK that. The Array, or Table, I'll choose that. And when I get to there, I'll go to Payroll, choose this table here, highlight it, absolute. Which cell am I looking at? It's this row number here. Click onto there. And then finally, what am I looking for? Net 
pay. I know that net pay is in the second column. And there you see the amount come up. So if I click onto there, there's the cell there. If I want gross pay, I do the same thing again. Up to FX, choose index, accept array, when I get to Array or Table, I go to Payroll, choose the table, highlight that and make it absolute. When I come to the row number, I link up with that cell there. And when I want the column, I know I want 5. When I OK that, I get that. Now, if I come to here, you'll see that all of these figures will change. If I choose that one, they'll all change. Which figures was I using? These figures here. Let me just move them along so that you can see them. There they are. The names were these names here. The table was this table here. Now I can look up any of these names and then any of these columns when I go into here and use a combo box. This combo box is linked to this cell here. This cell here using index is also linked to that. That is how a combo box works. Thank you.